Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are checking out my favorite paid jailbreak tweaks of January 2014. And be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. And the first tweak we are checking out is Pluck 2, and this is available in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents, and it'll give you an easier way to access your music from the lock screen or control center. So as you can see in the bottom corner here, we have this little music icon here, and if we tap and hold on that, we pull up a nice little little switcher that will allow us to add music to a current playlist. So if I go in here and select some songs and get that all queued up, once we tap on done, the music will immediately start playing in the order that we added them within Pluck 2. Now like I said, you can also do this from Control Center. So we pull up Control Center, we have the same little icon here, and if you tap on that, you can pull up your artists and playlists, and we can add tracks to a current playlist as well. There are some settings for Pluck 2, the ability to change the the icon color and a few more options but overall this is a great jailbreak tweak and I highly recommend checking it out. Next up, we are checking out Springtimize 3, and this is available in the Big Boss repo for $2.99 or $1.99 if you owned Springtimize 2, and this is basically the ultimate way to customize your iOS device. As you can see, we have tons of settings in here. You can customize everything from the animations to the icon sizes, hide different UI elements. There are so many things that you can do with Springtimize 3, and I highly recommend this for anybody that wants to tweak out iOS and give it a custom look. Of course, of course, all changes require a respring, but as you can see here, once we're back up and running, I have changed the device quite a bit to look a little different, and we have bigger icons here. We have a different looking dock that I can now add six icons to. There are just so many different ways. This video does Spring Demise 3 no justice at all. I highly recommend that you go check it out if you're looking for an excellent way to customize iOS 7. This is probably going to be the best one. Moving along here, we are checking out iOS iTouch Secure, and this is available in the Big Boss repo for $4.99. This will autofill passwords inside of apps or websites if you use Safari Autofill, and it works very, very well. So once you've set up an app, and as you can see here, we're using the Tumblr app as an example. Once you've already logged into it once, iTouch Secure will kick in. So as you can see, if I tap on the password field, we have this little green glow, and we have a little fingerprint in the corner. And if I touch my thumb to the Touch ID sensor, my password is automatically automatically filled in and I can go ahead and tap on the login button here. But that is not all that iTouch Secure does. This tweak will also press the OK button for you. So literally you'll just have to enter in your username and touch your finger to the Touch ID sensor and you will automatically be logged in to whatever app or website that you are using. So let's go ahead and give this a shot here. I'll go ahead and enter in my username and tap on the password field, touch the Touch ID sensor down here at the bottom and boom we are logged right in. It's a great tweak and it works very well, so I highly recommend you check out iTouch Secure if you're looking for an easy way to securely enter your passwords in apps or websites. Next up on the list, we are checking out Classic Switcher, available in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. And if you're getting tired of the iOS 7 style app switcher, this will bring back something that you're probably a little more familiar with. So once we have the tweak installed, as you can see here with a double press of the home button, we bring up something that's a little more comfortable for everybody that's used an iOS device prior to iOS 7. We can close apps in the same way, but there are also some other features that come along with Classic Switcher. First off, we do have the ability to add more rows to the app switcher. So let's go ahead and tap on two here, and then you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. And there are also some other options in here as well, but let's go ahead and check out this double row app switcher here. And as you can see, it works just as advertised. This is a great tweak if you're not into the new card style layout of the app switcher found in iOS 7. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And like I said, it's available in the Big Boss repo for only 99 cents. The last week we are checking out in this list is Bio Lockdown, available in the Big Boss repo for $1.99, and this is arguably one of the best Touch ID tweaks that you can download. This will allow you to restrict access to apps, to certain features, to preference panes, all kinds of things, and it's all done right here within the settings app. So as you can see, I have a couple restrictions set, and if we go inside of that restriction, we can limit it to certain fingers set up in Touch ID, when we're on certain Wi-Fi networks, 
or even using a standard passcode. So it's pretty simple to set up and very easy to use. So as you can see, I have rearranged icons as a restriction. And if I tap and hold on that icon, we are forced to use the touch ID sensor to unlock that feature. And then I can move the apps around. The same goes with locking apps. So I have the app store set as a restriction. And if I try to enter it, I'm going to be forced to use touch ID to authenticate that action. Like I said, there are tons of features available for bio lockdown. You can lock up different toggles, you can lock different apps, you can lock different settings panes, you can pretty much lock up anything on your device and only be able to access it with Touch ID. So it's a pretty cool tweak and I highly recommend that you check it out. This video does it absolutely no justice because there are tons of features available. So go ahead and check it out and you can find Bio Lockdown in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. That about wraps it up for this video everybody. These are my favorite paid tweaks in January 2014 and hit that thumbs up button if you'd like to see a part two because there are plenty more that I would love to cover for you. Also, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to catch all of my videos videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.